So Brooks is approaching three weeks old tomorrow. It's been quite the time. <laughs> He's definitely super healthy and went to see a pediatrician last week and he's totally healthy gaining lots of weight he's already nine pounds 12 ounces that was on friday um, definitely feels like he's heavier now so overall he's sleeping pretty good so that's good obviously there's lots of triggers naturally my only memories of Allie are the 41 days that she was alive. And so, you know, trying to figure out what exactly it was that really contributed, you know, to her passing and just, you know, hearing the cute little baby sounds, watching his arms kind of frantically move sometimes. It's just all very like confronting as to, you know, the fact that we had a healthy baby and then one day we didn't. Um, how sudden and awful and yeah. Anyway, also our court case has turned kind of into an even more of a disaster. It's, uh, yeah, just, you know, emotionally difficult to hold everything that's happening right now, you know. It's like, obviously, the top priority is making sure he's healthy, and he is healthy, continuing to prioritize what he needs, but this court case is just a nightmare. And the sad thing is that, you know, everyone else involved in our case, it's their job to be doing whatever they're trying to do, whether they're trying to prove that we did something wrong or whether they've already stated that we did something we didn't do or you know, obviously our lawyer's the closest thing to someone really living it with us, but we've hired her. So, you know, this is our life. It's our stress. It's our loss that we'll never get Allie back. And yet here we have people in the world trying to prove that we are bad people and that we um, neglected our child abused our child and to to realize some other details way after you know her passing is just still unbelievably shocking disappointing um i don't really know I don't really have a lot of words for it still as I'm just still feel like I'm living in like denial that it actually happened because I didn't I I don't believe <laughs> I can't believe that someone could could do the things that have been done. You know, in the face of in the face of uh, confrontation and in the face of the state in the face of uh, prosecution you just don't know what people are willing to do and we were upfront, honest, open about everything. We allowed them to access to basically anything they asked for and then to have 
kind of what's happened. And even now it's like, wow, you know, we're a year out. We're over a year since this all started. And it feels like it's, it's sad. It's really sad what, um, what has transpired and also just the fact that I feel like I really haven't been able to fully process or fully like show up for the loss of what's all happened because of this court case and feeling like I'm having to defend my my future right now, defend my freedoms that I believe should be mine while still trying to understand and grapple with the fact that our daughter is gone and yeah hasn't been easy but I hope it gets easier and pray that this next hearing date stays and it happens and it'll be over soon because It's, uh, I've got enough going on. I've got enough things to worry about, stress about. I don't need to have this court case as well. <laughs>